bendiga Maligaya mong ilisan At sa gitna ng kapundukan Ay tahimik ang namuhay O patron namin at tuliran Tanglao namin sa
Please all kneel for the Pope Francis' prayer for protection during the coronavirus pandemic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Mary, you shine continuously in our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, salvation of God's people, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after the moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas. We who are put to the test and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while.
Please all stand for the angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. The name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good noon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today, we celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Brian Garibay. Please join the choir in singing our entrance hymn. <laughs> Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the princess said to the king, Jeremiah ought to be put to death. He is demoralizing the soldiers who are left in this city and all the people by speaking such things to them. He is not interested in the welfare of our people, but in their ruin. King Zedekiah answered, He is in your power, for the king could do nothing with them. And so they took Jeremiah and threw him into the cistern of Prince Malchiah, which was in the quarters of the guard, letting him down with ropes. There was no water in the cistern, only mud, and Jeremiah sank into the mud. ibed melech a court official, went there from the palace and said to them, my Lord King, these men have been at fault in all they have done to the prophet Jeremiah, casting him into the cistern. He will die of famine on the spot, for there is no more food in the city. Then the king ordered Ibn Melech, the Cushite, to take three men along with him and draw the prophet Jeremiah out of the cistern before he should die. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, come to my aid. Lord, come to my aid. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me. Lord, come to my aid. The Lord heard my cry. He drew me out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud of the swamp. He set my feet upon a crag. He made firm my steps. Lord, come to my aid. And he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe and trust in the Lord. Lord, come to my aid. Though I am afflicted and poor, Yet the Lord thinks of me. You are my help and my deliverer. O oh my God, hold not back. Lord, come to my aid. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us read ourselves of every word and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and the perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy, the lay for him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the right of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners, in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father. A mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, madami po sa atin ang naghahangad at naghahanap ng companionship. Mostly, Many of us do not want to be alone most of the time. Madalas gusto natin yung may nakakasama tayo at nakakausap. To comfort us or even just to stay with us sa mga oras ng ating pangangailangan. And at times, sa kagustuhan po natin may makasama sa buhay kung sino-sino na po yung pinapapasok natin sa ating buhay. This is a concern because the people who surrounds us can actually highly affect us. I repeat, the people who surrounds us highly affects us. For example, dati itong batang ito, masipag naman sa paggawa ng modules niya noong online classes. Pero bakit kaya nung nagumpisa na yung face-to-face -face classes at nakilala niya na yung mga bagong classmate niya, naka, hindi na pinapansin yung mga libro niya. On the other hand, maaring yung isang uh, dating basagolero nung nahanap niya na yung tamang tao para sa kanya la biglang nagtino naging maayos ang kanyang pamumuhay naalala niyo po ba yung palaging maxim na sinasabi sa atin dati tell me who your friends are and i'll tell you who you are ngayon daw po panahon ng pandemya nagbago daw po iyon ngayon daw po Tell me who your friends are and I will contact trace all of them. No? <laughs> Nagbago na. My dear friends, this Sunday we are invited by our readings to look into our present relationships. Why? Because God uses our relationships and our companions in order to, to give us His blessings, in order to direct us into, his do, into doing His will. When we say relationships here, we're not only talking about uh, exclusive relationships, mag-asawa, mag-boyfriend, or mag-girlfriend. We're also talking about friendships. We're also talking about personal, uh, professional relationships at work or at school. What shall we do about these relationships? My dear friends, there are three letter C's that are being reminded to us by our readings for today. Three suggestions regarding our relationships. Our first letter C is cherish. Can you repeat that? Cherish. Sa ikalawang pagbasa po natin, narinig natin kung paanong tayo ay natutulungan of so many cloud of witnesses, crowd of witnesses that went, uh, went ahead of us and surrounding us. Sino po ba itong mga sinasabi sa second reading natin na crowd of witnesses? 
Sila po yung mga taong sa kabila ng hirap ng buhay at mga pasakit na kanilang dinaranas ay nagpapatotoo sa atin that is, it is still worth it na magpakabanal. Worth it pa din ang maging mabuting tao. Sila yung mga nagsusumikap magpakabuti sa kapwa nila. Hindi naman sila yung mga taong perfecto. But if we come to look at it, because if we come to look at it, you don't need to be perfect to be right. Hindi naman natin kailangan maging perfectong tao para maging tama. The company of these people are important to us in our Christian journey dahil sa kadalasan, sila yung nagiging kaagapay natin sa pagiging mas mabuting tao. Brothers and sisters, if you know one of these people, then cherish them. If you do not yet, uh, if you do not yet know any of these people, if you have not met any of these good companions, then I pray that sooner or later you will eventually meet them. Yung mga taong magi-inspire sa yon na maging mas mabuting tao, mas mabuting Kristiano. And if despite all of your prayers na makakilala ka ng mga taong ganito at wala pa din, I do hope that you become the right person to the right people. Our first letter C, cherish. Our second letter C this Sunday is challenge. Can you repeat that? In the first reading, we have heard si Haring Hedekias making a wrong decision because of the influence of the wrong people surrounding him. Nakagawa siya ng maling desisyon sa pag-uudyok ng kanyang mga kasama. He imprisoned the prophet Jeremiah. Brothers and sisters, this is what happens when we are with the wrong people. Naiimpluensyahan tayong gumawa ng mga bagay na mali at nailalayo tayo sa tama. The wrong people are those people na yumayanig sa prinsipyo natin sa buhay, sanghalan ng quote-unquote pakikiisa at pakikisama. Na minsan dahil natatakot tayong mapag-iwanan o maiwasan ng mga taong ito, atin na lang silang pinagbibigyan. Friends, this Sunday, we are invited by the Lord to look into our relationships. Are we surrounded by the right people? If we are not, then let us try to challenge ourselves. Bago ka maimpluensyahang gumawa ng hindi maganda, subukan mong impluensyahan sila sa paggawa ng tama. St. Thomas Aquinas would remind us, ang magmamahal ay ang pagmapangahang ang taong nagmamahal ay ang taong naghahangad ng kabutihan para sa kanyang minamahal. Love wills the good for the beloved. Kung talagang mahalaga sa akin yung taong nakapaligid sa akin, hindi ba't gagawin ko ang lahat ng kaya ko para maakay siya sa ikabubuti niya? Our second letter C, my dear brothers and sisters, challenge. Our third letter C is Choice. Let's repeat that. In the gospel, Jesus is reminding us of the great division that he would cause among the people. Dahil sa panginoong Hesus Kristo, maghati-hati ang mga tao, yung mga taong para sa Dios talaga, at yung mga taong para sa mga Dios Diosan nila. For example, wealth, power, and authority. Minsan po kasi ang mga nangyayari, ganito. Kung nagkita si churchgoer at si non-churchgoer, kung nagkita si believer at si non-believer, ang pinakaunang nagko-compromise at bumabaluktot, si churchgoer. At kung tatanungin mo kung bakit, eh kasi po, padre, natatakot po kasi ako na baka sabihin nila dahil palagi ako nagsisimba ang corny ko. O kaya naman, dahil sa palagi akong nagdadasal, baka wala yan ako. O kaya naman, baka sabihin wala akong pakisama kasi imbis na pumarty kami ng gabi, ng Friday, kasama ko ang pamilya ko at kami ay nag uh, dine in pare-parehas at nagkikwentuhan. Family time. Kaya 
pinagbigyan ko na lang po yung gusto nila. Pero ang tanong, paano naman yung gusto ng Diyos? Mga kapatid, inaanyayahan tayo ngayong linggong ito. Choose the Lord. There is this certain pastor that I am very much fond of listening to. And he said, Do not trade your relationship with the Lord dahil lang may sinusubukan kang sagipin na relationship mo sa ibang tao. If the Lord intends to that person to really be a part of your life, choose God first and He will make a way to keep that person or that people sa buhay mo. Mga kapatid, this Sunday, we are being reminded by our readings to look into and evaluate our relationships. And it has given us three C's as a suggestion. First letter C, cherish the right persons. Second letter C, challenge yourself. Naakayin yung mga taong nangangailangan patungo sa kabutihan. And third letter C, choice. Let us make a choice to choose the Lord always. My dear friends, do not be afraid to say goodbye to the wrong people because at the right time, the Lord Himself will lead you to the right persons. Persons whom you may not want at the offset, but definitely you would be needing in your journey. Pero ano ang unang dapat gawin? Hold on to Jesus. If you are to choose someone, please choose Jesus first. You can never go wrong with the Lord. And I promise you, hindi ka malulugi sa pagsama mo sa Panginoon. Friends, be blessed, be a blessing. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived by the, the Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As disciples of the Lord, we are committed to seek what is true, honest, and worthy of praise. Aware of the many difficulties we may encounter in this, let us ask the Lord's help as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may never be afraid to proclaim and defend the truth of the Gospel, even at the cost of losing friends and privileges. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all other spiritual leaders may succeed in their efforts to uphold what is true, fair, and right. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that all parents, teachers, and media, people may instill in the children and youth a sincere love for the values of the kingdom preached by Christ. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer that our youth may commit themselves to follow the teaching of the Church without being swayed away by many pagan lifestyles they see in our society. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, faithfulness to your ideals may set us on a collision course with those who uphold principles that run counter to yours. Give us the courage we need to imitate your faithfulness and thereby share your glory forever and ever. 
Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we have not only experienced the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray like Jesus. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit to be co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please all kneel for the prayer for Synod on Synodality 2021-2023. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let us ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may grow in journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements. We will have second collections today for the benefit of the Filipino Diocesan Priest Missionaries of the Mission Society of the Philippines. We have now Seminarian Vincent Bologna in behalf of the Mission Society of the Philippines. Sisters and brothers in Christ, good afternoon. I am Seminarian Vincent Iligar Bologna, 25 years of age and currently enrolled uh, second year theology at Divine Word Seminary, Tagaytay, and from the Mission Society of the Philippines. Together with me now is our lay mission partners, those wearing purple shirt and giving you now the envelopes. I am here today because last July 31, we celebrated the Filipino Mission Sunday, but due to pastoral reasons that all second collections will be given to those affected by the earthquake in Ilocos region. Phil Mission Sunday is dedicated to all Filipino missionary priests, especially belonging to the Mission Society of the Philippines or the MSP. It is a special day of prayer and thanksgiving to God for the gift of faith we received. The YMSP is composed of the Filipino priests and founded 
by the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines or the CBCP in 1965 as the official missionary arm of the Filipino Catholic Church. As an act of gratitude to God for the gift of faith we received from God through the early missionaries from other countries who proclaimed the gospel of salvation in our country. 500 years ago, we are the ones receiving faith through foreign missionaries. But now, we Filipinos are sending missionaries all over the world. The MSP has been working in many places around the globe, like Taiwan, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, Papua New Guinea, Australia, the Netherlands, Guyana, New Zealand, especially Tokilao and Cook Islands, and many other countries. Not just sharing the gospel to all, but also helping our overseas Filipino workers and Filipino migrants in their material and spiritual needs. By virtue of our baptism, Field Mission Sunday celebration reminds us of our missionary responsibility because we are all missionaries, but not all of us may have the chance to proclaim the good news in other countries. That is why I am here speaking to let the MSP be your hands to extend your faith to other peoples abroad. The MSP would like to ask you to be part of its mission in three ways. First, I ask you to please pray for the MSP missionary priests so that in times of difficulty and loneliness, they would be able to persevere in their mission. And now, in our mission, there are three areas. Uh, first is the, the, the pre-Christian uh, mission, missions. Those people, uh, Jesus, who didn't know Jesus. Secondly is we, the present Christians. And third is the post-Christians. Those people who first believe in Jesus Christ, but now they lose their faith in God. So that's the most challenging of all now, is the third area of mission. Because we have to, uh, to tell the people to, to be back in our Christian faith. Second, likewise, we pray, pray also for the MSP seminarians, that we may faithfully respond to the demands of formation so that in the future, we too will join the mission entrusted by Christ to the MSP and to us, the Filipino people. Secondly, please give us more vocations. If ever you have your sons, relatives, or friends who are willing to become an MSP priest, please bring them to, MS to the MSP. Let us pray for them so that there will be more missionary priests working in the vineyard of our Lord. And third, we ask your financial support for the continuous sending of the MSP priest to other countries. Me also, I have always been sent to the Palawan near the area of Mal Malaysia in an island. That people, there, the people out there are uh, thirsty. When I even didn't know Christ there, in especially here, there are some areas here in the Philippines that still longing to to know Christ. That is why, likewise, this will also help train more seminarians your support so that there will be more missionary priests in the future. And we, the seminarians, are proud to say that we are the scholars of the Filipino people. If you want to know more about us, please feel free to approach us. And please put your envelopes in the film mission boxes that our lay mission partners are holding now. Finally, MSP is not just the Mission Society of the Philippines, but MSP, mula sa puso, maraming salamat po. Thank you for your usual generosity and support. Please all rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessings.
May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.